How's it going? Okay, I should take this helmet off. Okay, well that's better. Would you believe me that in this backpack, I actually have a crash pad? Well, I do. Just gotta pull it out of here. Six Sequence sent me two of their blow up crash pads. You remember that video I made a long time ago? Changing the boulder game forever, something like that? Well, this company's actually doing it. They're making blow up crash pads. And really the whole stick is that you could, they're portable. I dare you to try to ride a motorcycle the actual crash pad on your back, right? So we're gonna give this a honest review because they didn't pay me, this is a commercial. I don't have an affiliate link, I don't got any skin in the game. They just sent me two of these crash pads. They said, hey, let us know what you think about them. So that's what I plan on doing in this episode. We're gonna find some boulder bros, do some bouldering today and uh, see what they're like, give you an honest review. Ridiculously small. Piddly. Don't say that like you got money in the company. <laughs> Piddly. Yeah, and they gave you. What is this? Oh, wait, what? Why is it attached? Not. It, oh, it does come off. Piddly. This is like some shit that you used to what stoke a fire in the 1800s. What colorful language. Yeah. You're thinking of a, a blacksmith's furnace. Yeah, piddly. Yeah, my dad was an English major. Are you recording this? Yeah. You know what? You just add this to the warm up routine. Get the muscles pumping. Like yeah, I can be pumped before I even try my climb. Sick. You need full, full body workout. Dude, the noise this makes is horrific. Am I good as a brag, dude? I'm taking the knife out of my bag and I'm cutting it. <laughs> it's the little, it's the fun little whistle. Wow, sick, sick new development in pads, guys. Listen, there'll be a video of it. We'll need to record it. Yeah, I'm sending this to my friends so we can make fun of you. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know. That feels like about as firm as I'd want to land on something. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Now you have a second. No, no. Why did you do that? Deflating. <laughs> 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 when you remove your air pump, you probably left the valve open. Close the valve and try again. <laughs> All right. Cool. So what you're worried about is that it's got a slippery, almost like a dual tech surface. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so it's about it's about the same size, but Matt's pad is less than two hundred and fifty dollars. And but his pad, but know. his pad doesn't fit into a sleeping bag. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Like I, I think, dude, I think if this guy can get him down to like 75 bucks, I buy a bunch of them, you know? Yeah. They probably wouldn't replace my foam on a normal session. Well, let's see how they hold the pump. Let's see how they hold up during this session. You have to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost died. All right, let's try this one. I've done it before, I think. There's a nine on the front piece of that boulder or something, or a seven. There's a seven um, on the boulder, like, on uh, the boulder back there, but in harm's way. Nice. What? Come on, dude. Ah, there it is. Dude, you should have heard the noise this thing was making when Josh had to inflate it. You ever blow through a whistle? Uh, <laughs> <through> a... <laughs> 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 
every time he'd press down on the pump, dude, for like 10 minutes. Did you record that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Don't make fun of my whiskey, bro. Which, like, in a way, dude, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm cutting those shit. I'm cutting those things open if I hear that shit at the gunks. <laughs> Yeah, one more, one more, one more, Josh, one more, one more. It's good, it's good, yeah. There you go, dude. <laughs> yeah, he killed it that time. I made it look easy. This is how you know it's hot. <laughs> the fan beta. Well, we had four of these run in one day. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome, dude. There's, like, footage of people falling onto air mattresses. So. Nick. Chances of that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all the way down there. <laughs> so all of you believe you'll do this one with us. <laughs> yeah, these things need handles. It's a really good job. Yeah, it's very nice. It's a small job. Is it in New Jersey? Come on. It's yes. in Maple Shade, New Jersey. It's, it's uh, there we go. very close to Philly. Come on, Josh. Yeah. It has no slab. It's really outdoors. Can I put my heel there? Yeah. Come, come. Yeah, now yeah. Bump, come on. Come on. Very nice. Yeah, come on, dude. Big feet. Go to the crimp, Josh. Yep. Come on. Out. Come on, Josh. Yes. Uh, Shit. Come on, Josh, get that on. Josh, you can put oh your God. foot out left, out left, Josh. Out left, 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 yeah, left. Out left, dude, yeah. Good It's huge, Josh. Oh, oh, no, oh no. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right. He landed on his mattresses. Yeah. He landed on his air mattress. Yeah, right. His mattresses. Now you gotta shut him out. Ah. This fall was sponsored by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like kick ass for like perfectly flat landing. Come on, Josh, come on. That's true, yeah. If it was, like, See how easy that, that is? Okay, we're back from our maiden voyage with the six sequence crash pad, air pad. I got a bit of a pros and cons list for you all, so let's talk about it a little bit and I'd like to know what you guys think. So the biggest thing with this is got to be just the portability, right? So it's lightweight, easy to travel with, compact, there's room for more. If you're going to go on a, a trip, on like a, take a plane somewhere, you're not going to have to pay that crazy luggage fee, oversized luggage fee you would with like a trifold. Um, the biggest con has got to be just the expense. And that, as that expense comes down, I think the more valuable these things get because you, let's say if they were in the $50, $75 range, you could have a lot of these when it comes to pricing it against a trifold. That's a lot more space to cover. You get a lot more pad. And uh, that's pretty cool. And you're, you're not gonna have, you're gonna have all that room for them. My wife thinks that she could pack 50 of these in luggage. I, I doubt that, but you can definitely pack a lot of these in just a regular regular luggage container. So that's pretty cool. Um, right. So another con is is durability. So how long is this gonna last? That's a big question mark. A trifold will probably last forever. I don't, it's probably gonna last until you die. So. That's another thing. If the price comes down and you, if you're on a, a trip and you get a slice in this thing, that's a bummer. That's game over. And two of these is like 500 bucks. So that's a hard pill to swallow right now. But as the price comes down, you have a, a few of these and one pops. It's not such a big deal. They do have a patch kit, but that's for like pinholes or something. As these rub back and forth on rock and get tossed around and wear out, they're probably going to break down. So that's a big thing. Um, Another thing, another con about the portability is actually these are kind of a pain in the butt to get from one bouldering location to another. So if you got to go like maybe five, ten minutes down, carrying these things like I was, like a yak, is a kind of a pain in the butt. And you don't want to deflate them and inflate them again. So I think there's one thing that could solve two of those problems is if they actually just had a cover. So if you put a cover on this and it was just a bag and you could take the Velcro off, the logo off, and put it on the cover then all of a sudden you have something that will protect it more from abrasion and cuts 
and you have something you can put straps on to make it easy to carry around. So I think that's a really good idea. Maybe they should do that. I'd hate to drive up the price anymore, but if they could get the price down this and then add a cover, I think that would be a great idea. Um, also with the cover, they could put something to wipe your feet on because another thing is there's nothing to wipe your feet on this. I guess you could wipe it on the Velcro, but if there's something on here to wipe your feet off on, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, they're so lightweight that the wind might blow them away. And if they have maybe a cover with some flaps you could pile stuff on, then that's a pretty good idea. They do, pr they do show the durability of like cars riding over it and stuff like that. So it's, it's not what you think where it's kind of just a bag full of air. There's some rigidity to it, maybe some baffling or something in there. It's kind of a strange experience. It's a bit bouncy, which could be a bad thing or a good thing. You could adjust the firmness by pumping more air into it. But uh, I kind of like the bounciness, but you, some people can be turned off by that. They might get scared. They're going to roll their ankle. Nick, for some reason, thought it felt it was like dual text. He was scared to even land on it. It's too new for him, you know. But I think he warmed up to it because eventually he's like, hey, if they were just cheaper, I'd probably have a bunch of them. Oh, another pro is that they're waterproof. So let's say you get caught in the rainstorm. You're not going to have these mats that weigh a ton because they're soaked with water. These are never going to get soaked with water which is a pretty good pro. And another pro that I don't think anyone talks about is right now these are a conversation starter. So bouldering is really about community and talking to people. And this could really break the ice because you, you, you need spotters, you need friends, you need to know what the cool boulders are. So you need to be able to start conversations and that could start a conversation. You can make some friends off of that, which is pretty interesting. Uh, unless they find you because of the crazy sound, the whistling sound the pump makes, which Nick didn't really appreciate. Another party thought it was a, they were far away and they thought it was a hawk or something. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, the pump is something that is a bit of a con right now. It makes a lot of noise and also carrying a pump could be a bit of a problem. They could probably, I, there's, there's air mattress pumps uh, for sale on Amazon. They're like battery powered. I haven't tried that yet, but that could be interesting. And uh, I think that about covers it for my pros and cons list. I'd like to know what you guys think. Did you come up with anything? Leave it down in the comments below. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take these out for more of a spin and see what they're like. And I think as the price comes down, these things are gonna get really cool. So I'd like to see uh, more of this in the future. I like companies that innovate, so I really appreciate that. It's cool. And Joshua Perry, climbing out of here. Also, like and subscribe. <laughs>